And I think with all of this kind of stuff, like, it's really just consistency, you know? Like, look at all the big podcasts and stuff out there. How long right. have they been doing it? You know, Comedy Bang Bang has like a thousand plus episodes. You know, I'm not saying they didn't, they didn't, it's not a good podcast, but at the same time, they've, they've done it for so long that they've gotten noticed. So, I mean, you can't expect to do 10 episodes and, like, have everybody listening. I mean, I guess it happens, right? They have cereal and shit like that, but it's a whole different thing. Yeah, they were doing something unique that, like, like I said, it's, it's almost a gimmick because it's, like, it's something that no one else can do in that way. Yeah, at least they didn't at that point. Now, a lot of people have kind of copped that, that idea, but... Exactly. But at the time, you know... Did you have you listened to that? I have only heard like two episodes, but the DC Sniper Monster. No, I haven't listened to that. Okay, it's it's like the Atlanta Monster sequel. Right. But right. it's DC. Yeah. It's, it seems interesting because you know they did a good job, but the the land monster of not just villainizing him, I felt like. Uh, right. And they kind of are. Seems like they're trying to do the same sort of thing. Because there was a lot of weirdness to that. Yeah, there was a lot. There was a lot of uh, elements to it. Can you get me the, one of the stools, babe? I sent my friend a picture and he said it won't download. I don't what, know. Um, like through text? Yeah, like I sent a picture of... Because Joey just texted me and he was like, Mushrooms got legalized in D.C. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway. And, uh... I was like, cool. I sent that to somebody else. Oh, that's interesting. I guess people are getting all more open-minded to that kind of stuff. Yeah, especially because of the scientific findings, you know? Yeah, yeah, people are... Well, that's it's good that they're actually, like, studying everything, you know? You never know what you yeah, can exactly. find. It's some, something like that could cure cancer or something, you never know, and then we just never researched it right. Because they're people, like, oh, it's bad for you. People always... And then also, it, it can go the other way, too, like... To prove and disprove like things people might have been saying about this specific thing for years, like oh sure. yeah, you know, it, it helps me with blah blah blah, and people are always like oh well, who knows? You're just a junkie, but like yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like it it goes so many different ways with that kind of thing. Information is great when it comes to anything. Yeah, it's better to know. It's better to know than not know. That's for sure. I mean, they did all that stuff with video games even years ago. Exactly. They studied how much, like, if it affected your violent tendencies and all that kind of stuff. Which was smart, like, why, just because, like, it seems silly, they should have done it. Just to right. make sure. Because there's, like, something to that. You can see the reality to it. Even though I have, like, no interest in guns, I play plenty of shooting games. I don't know. It's weird. I guess it's, like, it's a difference of, like, just, it's a disconnect. Yeah, and I mean, not I also dangerous think, playing a video game. <laughs> yeah, not at all. And then also, is like, is there a flashlight? I can't see. Also, like the wealth of games, like some of the best games, like most, I won't say best games, but most well-made games are violent games. So it's like, for sure, as far as choice goes, you know, good game versus bad game. Let's turn up. Goodness. All the way up. Well, there's just certain parts of the game that I feel like they just intended. To be dark. I just literally can't see. Oh, that's wild. It's a jump? Maybe this is the wrong way. I don't know where you're supposed to go because yeah, I guess that's not the right way. That might have just been a dead end and I thought it was the right way. NPC right here. 
Vida gave us a The main reason I went and did the microphone stuff because I started noticing that I was getting a ton of bleed. I never that's never something I've been thought about before I right. was streaming. I was like watching stuff and I guess it's it's an issue mostly with like singers. And I was like, oh that makes sense. People being in like a sound booth and want to listen to the music back. Right. Glad to see you safe. Alright, so now I'm on the same quest that Vengeance will be ours. She's got a sick eye patch. Petra? Yeah. On AEW last night, so Chris Jericho poked John Moxley's eye out with a spike like two weeks well, ago. And then this week, John Moxley grabbed his key. So it was a whole thing. He stole his car or something. He took the car keys and poked one of Chris Jericho's friend's eyes out. <laughs> oh, so ridiculous. And this dude, this dude is, is, does look like somebody you want to fuck with. He's like a Puerto Rican dude from New York, you know? It's hilarious. <laughs> he, he, he's not, he's not gonna, he's not gonna play around with that kind of shit. Yeah, they're, they're going with some like kind of goofy, but like it's, it's shit that like they probably would have done like before I was even born, you know? Right, right, like, right. Oh my god, he poked his eye. That's terrible. <laughs> and I'm gonna fight you now. You know, that's definitely like some like down south wrestling shit. But his dad was Dusty Rhodes, so it makes sense. I mean, it's almost like the like that gives a reason to fight. If somebody poked my eye, I want to beat him up. Yeah, fight. <laughs> right? Well, it's not like, oh, well, he tried to kiss my girlfriend. Right, like, like some bullshit on, you'd see on like what's that show Riverdale? <laughs> I never even watched it, but I feel like that's what that's about. <laughs> I have no idea. That show's actually like really intense for no reason. Good, yeah. I've heard it's. Is it good? I've heard it's good. Ah, uh, it's not my kind of thing, so I can't like say if it's good or bad. But yeah, definitely really intense for no reason. Like these kids are in fucking high school, dude. Like, <laughs> Buffy style. They're, yeah, like they're fucking hunting down murderers and they're like Jeez. doing all kinds of shit. And it's like, dude, you guys are in high school. What like, and, they're, and they're all named after like Jughead no, characters, right? They they are the Jughead characters. Like, it's, I know. So like that just seems weird. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the, it's it's part of the greater like darkening right. of those characters because those characters and the sabrina the teenage witch characters exist in the same universe wait like the sabrina what's that it's called is that that new show chilling adventures of sabrina yeah okay but i mean even in the comics back in the day they exist in the same universe what was that girl's name was that reese witherspoon no um sarah michelle geller no that's buffy oh yeah, that shows to you. Wow, okay. I fuck is it the girl who was in Clueless? Uh, no, that's Alicia Silverstone. Um, different girl. I'm trying to think, was she? It's not. It's not. Uh, uh. What's that <laughs> movie? Say the last no. dance. <laughs> no, not Julia Stiles either. See, these are all blonde girls, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, was she Sabrina was even blonde? Yes, she was. She was. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to tell you who it is. I'm about to tell you. I gotta do a speed test on my desktop after we're done. <laughs> you gotta do it. Alright. So, where do we have to go? Do we have to leave the planet? I'm showing a um, containment cell inbound near our You gotta use position. the look at hold on. I'll tell you right now. Quest. Follow Spider's tip to the Scorn Baron's hideout in Avenge Cage 6. So, let's go for that. Uh, map. Oh, it's a it's like a campaign thing. So, I'm about to launch it. Cause it's gonna like do a cutscene and all that. Oh, okay, nice. Melissa Joan Hart. There it is. Uh, we were close, sort of. Yeah, yeah one of those. What else was she in though? Them. She was in a movie. Ah, dude, she wasn't really in much of anything else. Was she, but she, was she in, like, Varsity Blues or something? She was in one of those. She might have been, been in one of those, but 
I don't think she was in anything good. Like Can't no Hardly shit. Wait, maybe. She was in Can't Hardly Wait. That's she what I'm one. thinking of. So you see, when you said anything good, <laughs> I, just, I thought of Can't Hardly Wait. <laughs> I love that movie, but yeah, but, but she's not a minor not, character. She's in that not movie. very good. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would probably remember her from because I don't think I watched that show. Yeah, she was minor. My older sister watched it, so I watched it with her. It took me oh, until you know Bryce. Bryce introduced me to Buffy. I thought it was gonna be this some like dumb like girly show. Nah. And I was just see, like, oh, this is a cool like. Really it's joy. a good like. It has good humor and stuff. You know? I think it's because me and my sister were so close. I watched everything she watched. So. I watched. Yeah, I, I, I was like that with my sister too. But there were certain things where I was just like, nah. But I liked like Romeo and Juliet, which is a movie right. I probably shouldn't have liked as a ki kid. But my sister was into it. Even though that movie is kind of like, yeah. I still kind of like parts of it, you know? It's like, there's something about the aesthetic that I dug. Of like, uh, even the artwork on the movie cover was kind of cool. Yeah. But, and I like John Leguizamo. I do not bite my thumb at the sir! <laughs> maybe that's what it is. So I feel like as a kid, I didn't realize I liked corny movies. <laughs> yeah, but now you realize like, that's it's like, yeah, oh, this is a bad movie, but I still kind of like it. Like, uh, like Fifth Element. Like Fifth Element is kind of a bad movie, but then it's amazing at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Like the way those dudes look, they look like some like bad Doom villains. The, like one dudes. That's Forget a their names. Honestly, like. That what? You cut out. That's a movie they need to remake. Like... Yeah, little Dallas Multipass. They gotta like, bring her back. I think they could do it. I think they could do it and make it you know an, an actual probably, good Of anybody, I feel like Mila Jokovic probably would still have the body for that. I gotta give her credit. Oh. <laughs> if I give her credit for anything, she probably has the body for that. <laughs> and she, you know what? It's a great role for her because she doesn't talk a lot. Yeah. And yeah. she's not great at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you almost wonder, like, put her in a movie with Martin Scorsese, which people to do it. <laughs> like, <What>? granted, <laughs> she was getting directed by, like, yeah, but I don't know. What was that movie? And Vin Horizon's awesome. Yeah. But after that, I don't yeah. know. They always talked about him doing in a Castlevania movie, but it never happened. Oh, yeah. Have you watched that Dracula sh the I don't think Dracula I did. Netflix. I saw the preview and it didn't didn't grab me, but I mean I'm sure it's I'll watch it one of these days cuz I like everything horror. It's kind of corny in a good way cuz it's just like Dracula fucking with people like it's not even like he's got some grand mission or anything like that's my main complaint yeah. about it is it modern it's, day or no 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 no. it's not modern it's like old school it's like okay. 16 17 and 1800s like yeah, yeah, yeah. Around that era. yeah. whatever dracula well, era it, was well they take you through like a bunch of different time cool. periods with dracula gotcha in a, you know a few different scenarios but in every scenario it's just him fucking with people it's not even like he's <laughs> like got greater goal was <laughs> like, that, wasn't there a show about the devil is it just lucifer yeah yeah lucifer that, i feel like that's I what i what i saw of that that was what that felt like to me yeah 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 like that's i love that show but they positioned it as like a serious show so you're like um is dracula just a dick? Like I don't know what. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to eat you. I just want to fuck with you. Yeah, like he's just fucking with people. He's got these people on this boat, and he's just taking them out one by one, and he's like doing long ass monologues, just talking to them about nothing. And it's like, well, what? Why wouldn't he? What? Why wouldn't he just I mean, kill them all? Like I don't get. Well, it's, that is kind of Dracula, though. If you remember the movie or even the book, he does kind of just fuck with what's his name for a long time. Yeah, and, in, and in, that's the, in the all it is. Scorsese, not Scorsese, in the Coppola movie, it's Keanu Reeves, but I can't remember the character's name. Where he's that's just like, like, oh, let me have these hot chicks, like, just kind of kiss you and rub, rub on you and bite your neck, and we're going to eat and drink and have a nice time. Like, he's kind of a good host until he tries to kill you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's. 
they 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 definitely play that element up a lot. It's like a super charming British dude. Yeah, and like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but it, I don't know. Like there was there was no point to it. I felt like because there was just no. He didn't have any. Like I said, he didn't have any like goal that he was trying to reach. Yeah, yeah. That can be a problem with that kind of stuff sometimes. I felt like. Actually, I didn't finish it, but the last season of American Horror Story where it was like a slasher, which was a cool idea because it was very 80s. Like, right. Did, it was called 1984, so obviously it was 80s. But then every, like, every other episode, they're like, hey, but guess what? This was the one that was actually the reason for everything. And you're just like, hey, right. guys. Like, remember <laughs> in Jason, it was just kind of Jason killing people. Like, you don't need... He no, doesn't need to be, like, controlled by all these... I mean, I get having, like, you know, cool twists and turns, but there's a way to do that where you're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, this Kamehameha does so stuff. much damage, dude. Do you see that? Hell yeah. It does, like, 2k in a second. What the hell? Hey, See, that's a word where it's just easier to say. I mean, maybe if I spoke Japanese fluently. But if I say Kamehameha, it takes way longer. And Kamehameha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did I tell you about Ryu Lee? No. There was, a wrestler, there was a wrestler named Dragon Lee. And then something happened and he couldn't use the name anymore. And he went to Japan <laughs> and now his name is Ryu Lee. That's hilarious. Uh, Ryu Lee. Um, my friend David was telling me that they like the the American the the Romanized word uh, dragon is becoming more popular among little kids in Japan than the Japanese word for you. So like you? yeah, they just he's street fighter. Like, <laughs> like he was telling me that kids now r recognize the word dragon more. Crazy. Yeah, he was like, it's just a really weird thing. He was like, I was recently, I was around. Because he, he, he lived a, in Japan for a few years. A dragon so from China originally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's where all of that culture yeah. originated. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if they're Western. Or, yeah. Well, yeah, England is considered Western culture, right? Yeah, exactly. So I wonder which one came up with the dragon first. Probably China. Oh yeah, for sure. Like the... I always so, thought I mean, those were like the coolest designs like anyway. I always loved the like Chinese dragons. Yeah. Fucking the long body and shit. And stuff. Yeah, with the little hands. <laughs> yeah. Claws and shit. Cause like... From what I understand, like... Dragons are medieval for European culture, whereas dragons have been around in Chinese culture since ancient times. Sure, that makes sense. This is like part of their zodiac and all that. Exactly, like it's a big deal for them. So, yeah, that makes sense that they stole it from them. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprising. I had to clear out my inventory after we do this. One thing I did actually notice about st the streaming stuff, which is kind of weird, is Facebook gives you tiered uh, quality right away, but Twitch you have to be an affiliate. Oh, that's weird. So like, yeah, you can only watch my stream in whatever quality I'm streaming on Twitch. Twitch has some weird shit like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just more like hardware intensive for them? I don't know. I keep thinking these spider dudes are bad. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man, dude. I was trying to play League yesterday. It was just, I was not having fun. I did playing a tank. I had a little more fun. That's I think that's what I need to lean towards. Maybe 
Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. I was playing an Ur, not Urgot. I always say Urgot. Nautilus, the dude, the like big daddy looking dude with the anchor. Yeah. And being able to, you have a lot of mobility with that, so it's a lot less annoying. Old fashioned hand cannon. That does. Spider, we lost one I mean, of your guys. I know what it does, but. Oh, did it go in my. Yeah, I, I want to, We should try that game on the cycle. It seems like it might be an interesting Destiny clone. Because it's like a Destiny clone with Borderlands type weapons where they're kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm down, but I definitely want to. I mean, at least. I mean, how much of the deals. Do you have all the DLC on this? Um, no, I just have Forsaken. But once I get once we get further in Forsaken, if I feel like, you know, we play. Yeah, exactly. I definitely think I will. But yeah, I, I like we'll this see. game. Though. Especially Another now that I'm back in the place, here. I can get some more game time in. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm definitely gonna try to play more ranked on Tekken. Try to get my my rank up. I, I like playing King more. He felt that. good tonight. I have to find a character that really jives. Like, I'm good with Eliza, Eliza, but she just doesn't jive with me all that much. Well, she's very much like a Street Fighter character, so... Well, it's not even like... so much that. It's her combos. For me to get max damage out of them, I have to do all this sidestepping and crazy shit and wave dashing. Yeah, and I'm like, she's not ah, easy. Ah, well, I think the yeah. Street Fighter characters have the hardest, like... Like, between Eliza, like, Geese, to me, probably has the hardest combos in the game. Yeah, and it's like, I don't, I don't know if I'm here for all that just yet. Maybe when I get better at Tekken overall, I can pick her back up. But I want to get someone who's a little more simple, that is just a Tekken character that has, like, basic Tekken mechanics, so I can fuck with that. Yeah, I keep thinking maybe I should try a Mishima. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I might go back Kazumi, to be honest, like she feels good for me. Because they and have was... the the motion on um, King too, so I don't have to worry about like not. You know, it's useful on all my characters. Well, oh, there's a thing over here. Can that? Thing. You want to use it? I used the last one. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I haven't used it on PC yet. Oh, whooping that! Hey, oh. Yeah. I was trying to shoot the cannon, but it doesn't seem to be breaking. Maybe it's not worth the effort. Oh, I forgot about my bazooka. Yeah, your heavy weapon. Don't forget about it. Uh -oh. Did you see all those, those new Disney Plus shows that they announced? Um, like all, for all the Super Yeah. <clears throat> they look one, one or whatever, and the other one. It was like Loki. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at least it's all the same people. I'll give them that. No, yeah, that's great. I mean, I'm glad they're doing it. It's just, I just can't help but feel like they're just turning into an evil corporation. I can't root for them. Yeah, well, I just, and it's also, I don't feel like they put anything out that's thrilling. Like, it's all like, it it's feels, all what you would expect. Exactly. You know, it's no, all I, very I, homogenized in a way that's yeah. like, this is good, this is good, this is good, yeah. but it's not amazing. <laughs> it's not it's nothing good. that I feel like that, I have to watch. I agree. That, see, and that's my main, like, gripe about the Marvel Universe that, like, nothing will ever replicate the way that the Dark Knight trilogy was. Like, people hate on it because they, they 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 try to compare it to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it's not the same thing. They created, a, like, a standalone trilogy that is True. probably the best work of superhero. You can watch each one, too. Yeah. You don't have to watch any exactly. of them to understand the others. Exactly. It's like, like a James they, Bond thing, you know? They created a, a, a great series that is, like... Cash. It doesn't just tell a superhero story. No respawn. It tells like a very good, like, I don't know. It just has so many different things to it. Sure. Yeah. I mean, like him in the well and all that stuff. Like, yeah, like and, and like kind of its commentary on crime and how, you know, sure. you know, all that stuff. Like 
it was a good movie overall. I think even if you look at it as not a superhero movie. I mean, it's got Liam Neeson's in it, the first one. Right, exactly. Like, Batman Begins is such a great movie. Yeah, that's probably the most underrated one for sure. I gotta watch it again. Yeah, I remember I at the time, I was kind of like, I don't know. I don't, like, I love Christian Bale, but I didn't know about him as Batman. But he grew on me. I loved him yeah. as Bruce Wayne. I and still, like we talked about that other yeah. the other day, I think that's my biggest gripe with those movies. Because like when you look at something like uh, Robert Downey Jr. I mean, what was the last one? It was Batman and Robin, right? Before that? Yeah. So, it was definitely bad. <laughs> Damn cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, hey, I'll try to give Robin passes in insurance. I, oh god. I don't have I don't have a lot of faith. I just think he sucks. Like it's not even like I, Well, I mean dude, my ex loved those movies, so I watched I think every single one. But dude, they were terrible. Oh I know, that's my point. Like oh, he didn't god. get better as they went along. Oh, but they could have been really bad director. I mean, you would hope the director for for this Bro. Is, is it Batman or what is the movie? I don't even know, but I've seen him in other things, and every time he's absolutely unremarkable. I don't know who you get. I'm trying to think. Like if you go with a white dude, like they people have plenty of ideas, but it seems like they want a white dude. Yeah, they they definitely want a white dude. So uh, I don't know. Like I mean, I don't know who who's you get. under thirty, or even you mean you could go thirty five. Yeah, you can go 35 to 40. You can go for the older Bruce Wayne. That's really what they need to do. Is what's this called? Uh, what's that one called? Oh, uh, the Zack Miller. Huh? Oh. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh. The Hangman. Oh, he's not enough the stage. What the fuck? I'm about to use the command mail. On him. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. Where'd he go? He like disappeared. You kill. What? King Oldroom. Uh oh. You think you will defeat my scorn for my siblings and my father all at once? Yeah, dog, we about to whoop your ass. Arcade. Then my man's Kate about to come back because he's just a machine and we can reinstall him. <laughs> <laughs> you would think. That's, that's the funny thing about like this and like what's it called? That, they, that That's a lot of things. They do that a lot in their games now that I think about it. They do that in Halo too, where they're like, oh, she's gonna get hacked and she doesn't know who she is anymore. And it's like, I don't. Why didn't you just back it up, bro? Right, like, don't y'all got the cloud out here? What the fuck? <laughs> like, like an external hard drive or something? <laughs> like, man, no, I got too many movies on that for my Plex. <laughs> Can't put no Cortana on that shit. <laughs> Too many movies. That's, that's kind of what I like about Altered Carbon. Like that's one of my favorite like future shows. Like, yeah, I gotta watch a bunch. There's some new shows I have, have to, watch. to watch. No, like I, I'm telling you right now, that's gotta go bump up to the top of your list. Like, I gotta finish Watchmen season one first. That's, of what? That's only like four or five season episodes, so it's not bad. Watchmen. Oh, oh Watchmen. Oh yeah, I need yeah, to watch that. Yeah, I really like that so far. Dude, it's Alter good Carbon. because they do a really good job of like, I don't even know I should necessarily, well, it's not really this, but like certain characters you don't really know, you don't expect them to be certain characters. Right, because like, they're just like, they're just normal guys before they show you who they are, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. So you're kind of just like, who is this? What is, why are you showing me this? And then you're like, oh shit. Like if you, even if you've just seen the movie, I think right. I read the comic. I mean, it's basically the same. I have um, I have it in digital form on my computer. 
a lot of people shit on that movie, but it's basically the same as the comic. Yeah, I, I mean... The only difference yeah. is the, the octopus monster, which they actually talk about in the HBO show. So yeah. So, they're, they're basing it off the comic. You think he gets me for a red, so I just got punched in the face. My nope. guess is they probably tried to do the octopus monster, and it looked like trash, so they were like, eh, we're just gonna have it blow up. <laughs> right. They were like, it looks way too fake. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this again. You know what, I'm gonna change my weapons real quick because... This but yeah, uh, yeah. weapon I have fucking sucks. But I was watching it with somebody who I don't think had ever seen Watchmen, and they even were into it, so... I don't think you even have to know who the people are, it's just kinda interesting either way. Yeah, either way it's good. Oh, I'm with Three. that. Oh, shit, man. Well, they do some interesting things, like, with just the characters and how it's very, a lot of racial undertones and stuff like right. that, but they're trying to kind of flip things on their head in a way. Yeah, I don't have any more heavy ammo. But, the, I mean, the, the movie and the old comic was very heavy, too, so. Yeah, very, Makes very. Sense. With a lot of deep, dark shit. Yes, yes. Killing is what you do. Killing is what you I think we. Oh, you're over there. I think we got probably. Oh! Oh shit. I think I'm gonna blow these up. Oh. I'm gonna kill some of these dudes so there's not too many people shooting at us. Got his fucking shield. Yeah, don't forget about your melee too. I sometimes forget to use it. Ooh, got that healing shield over here. If you can get over here. Uh, I'm using my ulti. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I so everyone in my neighborhood. Well, not everyone, but there's a bunch of people in my neighborhood who have uh, Overwatch characters as uh, their Wi-Fi names. That's funny. So I named mine Graviton Surge. <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. I was listening to the Beast cast recently, and I think it's not a super recent one, but it's from like August, so huh. yeah, recent enough. It's almost a year old now, I guess, but anyway, there was a British guy on there I've never heard of before, but he was talking about Overwatch. He was like, Zoria has no escape tools. It was just like, I guess he's kind of right, but I always thought at the same time well i don't know what the meta shifted like but i always thought that was kind of the point which he's super about it. there's new tanks that do have them so it's like why plays Arya? yeah yeah well the from what i understand diva kind of sucks now too this was our best shot at yeah because she doesn't do enough what are we gonna do now join allies i thought i was next to you are we finished yep oh, spider Showed them, didn't you? Piece of advice, eh? You really showed all their energy before you deal with them. Rex is fine. It's weird, it's getting a little echo from you. The silent sadist is it? to dock the arms of dregs with its bare hands. Uh, all the time, if you hear him. The mad bother. Emphasis on man. Demolitions expert. Dude, I don't know if you've seen the classes in, um... The trickster. Borderlands, but there's a pet class. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I kind of dig it. I haven't played it a ton, but... He's got all these, like, robot dogs and birds and shit. There's a robot monkey. Or no, I think it's a real monkey. I mean, it's not actually a monkey. It's, like, some weird Overwatch. Or not Overwatch. Did I say Overwatch? I'm talking about Borderlands. No, Borderlands. Yeah, he's got, like, a weird, like, Borderlands monkey that, like, goes and fights people for you. Only yeah, I always like pet classes. Definitely seems fun. Seems like a good co op game. Yeah, it's only different in Borderlands 2. I never finished it. 
Yeah, I'd play it. I'd still play that. Yeah, it's still a good game. I don't remember I was having so many problems with the way it was running. That's why we stopped. Yeah. But it's probably fine on this PC. I don't even know what that was, though, because that game's so old. It was weird. Yeah. It was the I don't only know. game I had that problem on. Because I was playing Overwatch at almost max settings, and that game was newer than Borderlands. Yeah, I don't know what was that. Maybe it was the HD texture. Look at the jig or whatever. Yeah, who knows? Or it could have even just been like a bad installation, alt tabbed one too many times while it was installing and some shit happened, yeah, you know. Sure. Like I said, first time I installed control, the floor was missing in a level, so. Spiders right back, yeah. Yep, now we can Tell talk to Spider news. and get the next quest step. Where did my thing go? Can you send stuff to the thing from here to the boxes from here? I don't know. I don't That's think a good so. question. I think a lot of the stuff automatically goes. Yeah, well, I just I wanted to get something out of there because I'm full up right now. Yeah, no, you have to go to the tower in order to do that. I could dismantle all this. That sucks. You sure? Is it best? Yeah, face. Seven, 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 seven. Here? And he didn't say hello. Oh. Okay. Let me see. Oh, I don't need all of it. I just had them all in my inventory from before when I was like, yeah, these are all super high level, and now they're. Yeah, a lot of my shit is just the for different stuff, but at this point, I'm just gonna get rid of it all. I had all these weapons for PvP. Keep an eye on your ghost, especially in here. My people's greatest. See which one best looks why. Sooner, you. Another vice shipment gone missing. Get rid of it. You tell our friends we can offer them protection. A price. Aldrin is still out there. See, they need no a time to stand around. They need a Mass Effect Destiny, man. They really do. Huh. They still can. They got time. Destiny can't be the only destiny. You know what I mean? Sure. Borderlands 2. <laughs> no I feel like in some regard that's what people wanted. A good co-op loot shooter and I thought being that doesn't try to do too much. Bad. I mean, I definitely want to play more. I think it's something I want to, wait to play with other people. Yeah, I need to pick that game up for sure. It was recently on sale, I feel like. I got it with like my... I think my Aldrin processor or something, no or maybe even my out. just my heart, my uh, motherboard. I gotta go TV shopping now that I can destroyed mine earlier. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna have to fix it anyway, but I had literally just looked up the parts to fix it, and they had gone down in price. So I was like, oh yeah. I gotta spend like sixty less bucks, and then I was like, <laughs> then you oh. dropped it or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, uh, it is what it is. I rarely break things, so it's not a huge deal. Okay. All right, I'm going to launch the next quest. I'm just going to grab us real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Investment indeed. Actually makes me miss working with Varix. I think the Awoken will find my prices are the best. I need answers. The dreams are getting worse. Thank you. Well, that's kind of cool. I didn't see this before. You can go in and reacquire stuff. The poor investment. The poor investment indeed. <coughs> my, my, how did a Soro shipment land on my doorstep? Oh, well, it's not polite to ask questions. Ah, my guardian friend. Tell me the news. Greetings. Spider pretends he's Look. doing us a favor, but really, he's in as much a jam as we are. Another vice shipment gone missing. Oh. They tell our friends we can offer them protection for a price. I got three thumbs. So, even the great hero of the Red War has limits. Eight barons and an awoken prince. Make the sure respect. Cade's killers are still out there. 
But the hunt is not over. You take down the barons. Thin the herd. As for Aldrin, did you see that awoken spire when you landed here? It's called the Watchtower. I shouldn't be telling you this, but... My people's greatest secrets lie beyond that spire. There's no other reason Aldrin would come to the Tangled Shore. Sooner or later, he will go to the Watchtower. We must stop him before that happens. Good hunting. Good hunting. This is Petra. Target the rider. Watch your back on the shore. Adder. Bring me Avra. I have a task for him. I'm keeping an eye on the watchtower. If he goes there, what? I'll know. I won't get away with this. Not regrettable. Oh, well, business is business. Nope. Supercharged. Nope. I do enjoy hearing of your Keep an eye on your ghost, and especially in here. All right, you ready to go to the next mission? Glad to see you safe, my queen. What has become of us?
I'm not used to having hardwood. Like, not my whole place is hardwood, but part of it is. Uh -huh. And it just makes it so fucking cold in here. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah, that definitely can change it up. It's like a whole this giant fucking cold draft in the front of the Yeah, of yeah the rider. Take the right the right for a spin. Thing. We won't have to find her. She'll find like us. Like I messed up my hockey. Oh, you're good. You're good. Hmm. It's biometrically it's calibrated. Not. Let me run some diagnostics. I can tell. I can tell. Oh, we good. Oh no, that's that's still not good because it's now it's not. <laughs> I somehow oh, changed doubt. my thing. Shit. When did I die? No, I did. Boom. Now we're good. <laughs> How that happened? Mm -hmm. Where are you guys at? It's me. Are you? Super high light level. Still basically starting from like I played a ton when it first came out, but now I'm just trying to learn. Just trying to catch back up with people. I bought all the DLC in the last sale. So just trying to get myself up to snuff with everybody else. I'm supposed to use these the rider the first time by beating her in the face. There's prison of elder security yeah. footage of her swearing revenge on him. And, and well, well, you know the rest. Huh. Oh, palace. Palace Siege Rica. Pretty good name. Terminator. <laughs> I feel like the T something, T three hundred or something. Just an event. Yep. Snow. But I got a quest step in the Rat King crew for that.
Yeah, I think I got that one earlier. Oops. Now, remember that movie Biker Boys? Yeah, but like, oh, shit. was that who was the star? I think that was Tyree. I feel like it was too. Such a dumb movie. It had and Megan. Then, he, but then he was also in Fast and the Furious. Yeah. <laughs> Sure, his role in Biker Boys had something to do with that. Yeah, yeah, I feel, but I guess he was only in Too Fast, Too Furious until they like started doing all of them. Yeah, all the sequels. These pipes have a very distinctive. I keep accidentally jumping off my. Right now, it's all yeah, over my scanner. A rider's gang is getting by. <laughs> I keep trying to like wanting to jump on the bike. Talking to the rider on a secure frequency, we can triangulate her location for a little more data. Home. I sort of wonder if I'm better off streaming Witcher or Final Fantasy. I kind of want to play Final Fantasy more in a weird way. Uh, you're probably better off streaming Witcher, but We're on her. We're on. just Let's because go. Go. everybody yeah. works with that game as like the perfect game. Yeah. Really to be fair, it has play. way, it has really way more play. interesting side quests than Final Fantasy does, to be fair. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably do both, but maybe I'll focus on Witcher till I finish it and then do Final Fantasy. I think the fights are more interesting in Final Fantasy, like more fun, but the story yeah. is way more interesting in The Witcher. Yeah, that makes sense. And the voice acting and all that stuff is way better in Witcher. Sure, sure. But Final Fantasy has had some of the like the most fun fights I've had in a game like that in a while. That's cool. Especially once you get like the flow of the battle system, because that took me a little while as well. Sure. Oh. 
There's a chest over here. Money or whatever. Ooh, lava. Watch out. Oh, come this way. Yeah, I was going to come right on that. Stay up now. So what is the new Matrix movie coming out? Is that a sequel or a remake or something? No, no remake. Um, I'm not sure. I, I haven't heard too much about it. Gotcha. I think it's just another one in the series, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't really remember how that one ended, honestly. I thought it was sort of final, but you're not. Yeah. Who knows, maybe they're going to do one of those half sequel things where they show you a time period between mm -hmm. I don't know. All the Oracle just making cookies. <laughs>
My sword shit didn't miss. <laughs> Jesus, that was quick. The ultimates are definitely powerful. Oh. I muted my shit by accident. Oh, you're good. Alright, I think that's all I'm gonna do because I gotta. I gotta get. What's that? So I think that's the last thing, last one I was gonna do because I gotta get to bed. I gotta right. get up kind of early. Yeah, should probably get off myself. I got the gym in the morning. Yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's do it again tomorrow. If you want to come over tomorrow, let me know because um, I don't really have much going on. Yeah, man, just hit me up. I think I should be able to, but just let me know. I got um, you. I'll hit you up. Yeah, I mean, I, I should be home relatively early so probably six and after i'll be here sounds good bro all right man all right everybody that was a fun stream we really had a nice time we got a little some tacking got some destiny in you know, it wasn't too long of one today. I think I'm gonna get a nice long one tomorrow. But we got in some good games. We had some fun. The lobby thing was fun. Uh, I'd love to have some more people coming in from the chat next time. But you know, it was fun to have just some randos joining up, even though they were like beefy as shit and were smacking us down. It was a good time. Um, other than that, uh, you know. Keeping it going. Uh, I think I'm gonna stream some more wa uh, Witcher tomorrow, and maybe even Final Fantasy 15. But definitely more Tekken, definitely more S Destiny, and definitely more Hunt Showdown at some point. Um, but other than that, uh, I hope everybody has a good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.